Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video, I want to show you how to securely do the file sharing with the panda.net. Imagine that you want to share the file that is stored on your panda.net storage, and you want to do this in this way that no one else that doesn't have a specific link with the token can access that content. Maybe you want to add the time limitation so only within the next week someone can download that content. All of that can be done with the banner.net. Let's start. Here you can see the file manager in banner.net under storage. You have a file manager. Here you can have multiple files. Let's say you want to share this particular image with your friend. You have a copy URL and you can open the next tab to see that file. Fine, but if you see the link pointing to the pull zone and then the file name, there is no token or expiration date. What I want to show you right now how to sign this URL and have this token authentication enabled. First, you go to the connected pull zones and go to the security. So you have a CDN, particular URL pull zone, security, and you go to token authentication. Open token authentication. Enable token authentication. You have URL token authentication key that we'll need in a minute, but let's see what happened right now to that particular link. If you refresh that page, access denied. What to do now? Go to toughcoding.net, choose the tools, and here you have multiple tools that are useful for you, but in this tutorial, I want to show you a particular one, Bandnet URL signer. Go to that tool. And here you have a form that you can fill up to sign the URL. First of all, you need that link. So you can copy that link from here. Next, you need security key. This you can get from the pull zone settings, from token authentication section, and then you have URL token authentication key. Copy that key to clipboard. Place the key. In the form, you can set up the time, expiration time. As a default, there is one hour. You can set it up to the two hours or three, up to you. Leave everything as default, sign URL. Use a button to copy URL. Place URL in the new tab. And as you can see, you can access that content now. The previous link still doesn't work. What if you have multiple files and you want to share the same authentication token? If you go to the storage and you have a catalog here that have multiple files, you can specify the path. Go back to the signer and you have a path allowed. Slash your path and with the slash. You need to replace the path because this file is not in this catalog. So copy the one of the file name, place it instead, add catalog name, and sign URL. Copy that URL, open the new tab, and as you can see, you can access this particular file. If you want to access second file, just copy the file name, Go to your link and replace the file name only. As you can see, you can access multiple files in that particular catalog using the same token. In this video, you have learned how to secure link to your storage content, how to share the link with your friends or your customers to let them access storage content in the controllable way. Remember to visit my blog when you can find the latest articles about the different technologies with ready to use code snippets that you can copy and execute on your machine so you don't need to write it on your own. Have a nice coding, bye!